Okay, so here's some of the stuff Joe's giving me. It's some of the stuff he's steal anyway, so it's crap. But give me this stuff because remember I had those really nice forged wheels? He wants them for his car. So I said I want 140, roughly aluminum cost. So he's giving me, he gave me two wheels already, which I sold. And he's giving me these two more. He's giving this other stuff here. Kind of piece me off a little bit, so. Hopefully I can take, take this one off, that one I have to cut. So he gave me some wire too. We'll just call it, we'll call it even. It's wires, if that's all wire, that's pretty good. Call it even. So I got four aluminum. This other stuff. Let's get some dirty stuff here. Some sods and ends. He doesn't have the money anyways. For paying for storage is for his cars. For his I don't know what he's paying his contents or whatever he has in storage. That's like 500 bucks a month, 600. So there's enough value here. It's enough value for me, I'm happy enough. That's a big piece there. But this is stuff, kind of some of the stuff is the stuff you got for me, I think. Maybe this piece here, I think. That's heavy, that's probably about four pounds. Okay, so, got a lot of stuff to do today. I want to start loading some of this tin in a bin too. Start getting rid of some of the tin. But I have to maybe unload the, the van first, I'm thinking. We'll see. The next one could like could accumulate a lot of stuff fast, like way faster, because it's so close to my house and I could go back and forth so many times. And I could go two, three o'clock in the morning. The people don't care out there. The other place I went to, people were weird. It's like a ghost town after after ten. Like every every lights off. It's super quiet. You have to be super quiet. And I had one guy with my truck came out ditched before. Last year, put me taking stuff and making noise and doing it so late. And, okay. So this is what we have basically for spring cleanup. We got this welder, those two scooter and a bike there, TV screen. Did get uh, this bike here, a uh, quite a bit of wire, uh, all those bikes there, not the compressor, the bikes there, that's aluminum here, all this stuff here, except that metal, tires and wheels, dirty aluminum, and then we got uh, all this here. I got uh, two full bins for sure, I got. And then all, all this loose stuff here, all this here, and then I think I got that one barbecue I did, yeah. And all this, those things here, this here. Here's my graveyard for lawnmowers. I grabbed as many all the gas ones I could see, or I had room for. So, I'm just going to line them all up and then I'm going to strip them all. Uh, there's only one really good one I, I saw that I liked. This Troy built. It looks like brand new. So I'm not sure what scooping that one is. And there was no bag that I saw. So they got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 items with mortars. That's just this. Then we have aluminum deck here. I'm going to sell the way it is. And another one there. All this is HMS in this area. Wire, lots of wire here, brass rad, aluminum rad, 
tops and bottoms, aluminum, all this aluminum, this whole pile. They'll be so dirty. That's my aluminum, aluminum I'm gonna strip. This is a mismatch of just tin mostly and some some um, pressure washer and so on. So um, went back to bin up here and then put put some stuff in here and then offload it there and then get some of those bigger things to strip and then maybe get all those rid of the other stuff there in those bins. Um, HMS here, these got electrical motors. I might take the aluminum off there. This is saw that's pretty heavy. I'll whack the mortar off and then sell. There will be some aluminum, I think. Not sure unless it's HMS. One computer, one motherboard for um, laptop. The van is totally full. So that's nothing. Van is full. So I I did a total of uh, five van loads and one little red. So highlights are this picture. Is it needle point? I think it's called or something. Looks so good. I don't know. Maybe it's not needle point. I don't know. Da Vinci. Huh. I don't know, man. Maybe it's not needle point. It looks like it is. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's not needle point. Um, so I did get more bottles than the bottles I got earlier. So I see them and grab them. So uh, we did get this here. Was kind of the highlights. trumpet here it really stinks in here watch it be gold coins in there wow it stinks like a mildew but uh it's brass regardless so it's worth money and then we have the mouthpiece could be I don't know if they're sterling silver or they're plated I don't personally know but there are still some sort of silver plating here's some sort of I don't know maybe like that Another brass smell, gross. So, anyways, uh, something different. That's two I found now. Two I found similar to this. You know, boy, how do you get it back? Something like that. So I found two. Two. One was a little different, but it was similar. It was an instrument, brass. And it did get a suitcase full of stuff in there, paper and all that. So, there could be some good stuff in the paper. There's lots of stuff here. And I only grab stuff that I know, either HMS, uh, aluminum. It's, lo it's pretty loaded. You can't get, and the problem is, everything has to come out the side door, which is the pain. If I had the back door open, and, and then it's not so bad, right? I could launch it off the ramp ba back and forth, but no. So what I've been doing is I've been kind of taking it out and kind of sorting, you know, trying to put aluminum here and then wire and then HMS and then there was tin was going there, but so like I say, I like kind of like want to empty this too because I want to do all the aluminum. I want to get rid of it all, dirty aluminum because you know I'm gonna get so much more. If I got this much in this area, I should get this much again or more because the area I'm doing there'll be more competition, but. It's a big, big area. It is hills, and a lot of the truck and traders can't go in these dead end cul de sacs. They can't turn around, and they're tight. Little Red is the one that's going to snipe a lot. I'll probably do this van, and then later on go Little Red, and I'll cut many cords. So I'll probably have two times more wire if everything goes good. It's all speculation, right? No one knows, but um, lots of tires and wheels in here. Uh, if I got. Uh, I stuck two aluminum, but I found them somewhere else, and I stuck other other ones there. So when I have more tires and wheels here, like I think I'm I'm the only guy grabbing it. But I noticed my buddy he was grabbing some too. I looked on his trailer. I would drove by his house, and I saw he had he had a couple on there. So you know it's HMS, right? What do you do? And you know what? You do a favor for the for the owner because they're not going to take it anyways, right? So what are they going to do? It's going to go back in the yard for next year. So at least this way, I got it. I'll recycle the tire properly, I'll have the HMS. 
And all lawnmowers, uh, too bad about the lawnmower guys are probably going to cry. That's the way it is, right? It's, I didn't see any this time, but I see... I've seen it before, but this time I didn't see any lawnmower guys. Usually you'll see all lawnmowers in their car. So they weren't around or maybe they couldn't find them or I didn't see them. But that one for sure, the Hondas are actually pretty good. I thought, but I had to cut them up because every square inch is valuable. Handles are sticking all directions, forget it. I, I said I got no patience and half these bolts don't come loose or rusted. And to me it doesn't matter because I, I had one like this before I couldn't get $20 for. So what, what, if I sell for $10 for scrap value? No, I'll just take it apart. You know, it's no point. This was in better, pretty good shape too, but it's too cheapo. So I want all these motors off, but this is not rush. It's getting all this loose stuff here. This one, I can do this all in like a couple hours, right? All these bikes here, like some of these kids' bikes are not bad, but can't sell them. Like this is actually a nice little bike here, but once you start getting rust and stuff, and, and like I say, if I had my if I had my granddaughter or grandson, I'd just buy a new bike. I'm not gonna buy hand me down or give them a cheap bike. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a nice one to buy. That's how people are, right? Especially out here. I'm like that too. So, but uh, here's all the aluminum, right? Now you can see a better look. Okay, well. There's lots of stuff in there too. So I'm happy for the time I put in there and what I did and I'm super happy. I did really good. I high graded lots. Uh, if I would have had, I could have had, I'll tell you a story. A guy went, he took a total of, um, he did six loads, made $600 and his gas cost 300. Is that worth it? No, he said never again. It's not worth his time. Because six loads, you, you know, because if, you, you got to remember when you when you do loads randomly, they're never perfect in your truck. They're all over the place. You get barbecues, they're twisted, and they don't weigh much. They're all airspace. So, you know, he might have only taken a thousand pounds at a time. You know, some some of that. That's why when I do these loads, either there's there's aluminum in there, there's blenders, mortars, tires. Tires and wheels are new. I never used to take them less aluminum, aluminum but. You know, since I'm doing a tire machine, it's a kind of a new thing for my video. It's kind of a new avenue of making money. So it gives so incentive to people to go out there and try to make extra money, right? Same with the bottles, a new addition to my ventures. But I made around $25 in bottles last night. There's nothing to find. If I see a tub of bottles, I'm taking them, right? I'm not going to leave them behind. Come on. That's kind of how it goes, right? You know, fuel's expensive. Like, I burned probably already... Um, I'd say these four hundred dollars in fuel for sure, right? It's not cheap, but that's what I'm saying. But I, I could probably got uh, probably fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. This stuff's not free. I mean, your time. I don't mind time. Time's no big deal, but the cost of fuel is expensive, right? I got this too. These came. It's hard to say how much you really got until you start taking it apart and start selling it, but it adds up pretty fast. All these pressure washers. There are aluminum mortars in there. And now what I'm gonna do is, there's two bolts or something, I can take the, the aluminum mortar casing out, it's like aluminum, smash with my hatchet a bit, and you pull the copper winding out and sell the other part dirty, all the other mechanisms dirty, and still get a good dollar, right? And then anything like if transformers right now are really high, coppers, but the thing is coppers, I think coppers peaked right now for now, I don't think it's going up very much more, but it's going to go peak down and up and down, but that's why I like to sell what I have that's copper or, or wire, because right now they're paying pretty good. This thing's worth 100 bucks. Scrap metal in here. You know, it's going to, should be a copper rad. It's only one rad, maybe, I'm not sure, it looks like one rad, but there's a big compression in there, it's because it's super heavy. There'll be copper pipes in there and stuff. And this is kind of thermal plus, I'm not sure if it's a... Uh, I'm not even sure what it is really. Is it a chiller? I think someone used it probably for a grow up just because it had duct tape, red tape on top, like it was Mickey Mouse put in. You put cold water through this and it's, it's a radiator and it can cool your, cool your area down. I used to use those years ago, people, right? So I used to find this stuff like this years ago. I did used demos, tons of this stuff was kicking around. You know, ballasts and everything and wires. It was pretty good. We're talking about 20 years ago. There was so much of that kind of stuff, but now you don't see it no more. 
But anyways, like I say, even all these have transformers. One transformer is say, say 10, 8 pounds. Um, it's about $3 a transformer and up. So that all adds up, right? This thing here is probably 50 pounds. You know, that's going to be, uh, you know, 15, 20 bucks, $15 at least. 20 bucks probably by the time. Okay, I'm going to, I think I'm going to start the truck up and then load some of this stuff in there, I think. I'm going to put the bin on the ground, maybe. Uh, I haven't decided. No, I actually, I'm not going to put the bin on the ground. Okay, I haven't decided. Maybe I'm going to unload that first and I'll see what I have. I concentrate on the aluminum pile because this is big. I got a ladder there. I cut it up. This is a beater ladder anyways, but didn't see many last time. I seen so many last year, but what might, might have been Delta might not have been where could have been a different location. That's what I'm saying. It's such a so many areas you kind of forget what areas you remember what you got or what you seen, but sometimes you don't remember what district it was. Okay, we'll hold on. We'll keep moving. Okay, so I decided to sort my bottles out. Uh, some of my milk jugs here. Just wanted a break from scrap. I was going to do some scrap, but I said hey, it's important to get these out of here anyways and cash it in. I need money for fuel. Gas is so expensive, so I need to have the extra money. So plastic there, jugs, a couple there, and a lot. So this is all pop cans here. And this is all beer. That's my plastic juice boxes. These are miscellaneous. They got to be counted separately. Some of them, uh, especially liquor ones, mostly in the steel cans and the oddballs, because sometimes you reject them. So. I'm going to start counting these up here, maybe I'll worry about the bottles, get some bottle run in for tomorrow and get rid of these jugs because if the weather gets better they're going to start to start to stink and stuff, a few more here, but uh, good, pretty good, pretty good amount considering I haven't done much, just uh, done a few yesterday but I did get probably a uh, Two to two hundred, two fifty. Yesterday. When I took back already uh, eight hundred forty-five glass wine. Sometimes the olive oils are like this. Rejected a few over there. They look like they're uh, wine balls, but they're not. Might count these out too, maybe. Just so I have a neat pile, I'll put them over there for now because I won't be doing bottles probably for, we'll see, maybe for a week, for a week maybe. Uh, we'll see. These are all rejects. Like this is here. Snacks for kids, olive oil it says. Balsamic vinegar, cooking wine, right? Vanilla. It has to be um, no mixing stuff like flavoring or extracts, nothing of that stuff. It's got to be alcohol, drinkable alcohol. Okay, we're going to count maybe all the cans mostly and, and maybe stoves for sure. Okay, okay, before it gets too dark, I'll do a little the video here. Um, 400 sitting right here. And here is, could be maybe, uh, could be 100 maybe here. Hard to say. Maybe 80. So, still short from another uh, run. Um, I got, uh, well, I got there's still more here. But I, I got, I got, um, these are beer. That's 650. I think 695 here. A beer and I have uh, seven, eight fifty, eight fifty beer, one forty plastic ready. These are seventy five, one fifty, and then I have another thirty nine, one eighty nine of this, and then seventy five. But uh, I still have, you know, the standard milk here. This one here and here. 
then I have my miscellaneous still. I just want to get rid of the bottles to get them all done. So, because it's getting, you know, in case they get warm. Next week's supposed to be pretty nice. Be good for spring cleanup. So I got a lot of bottles here. So I'll do a run tomorrow, and I'll do an aluminum run too. And then maybe, who knows what else I'll run tomorrow, but at least get one good van load out. I kind of want to do two containers, so maybe I'll do enough for one container, enough for another container, and then, you know, there's a lot there. It's probably enough for three, three of their containers for sure right now, just sitting in the yard. Okay, well, I'm kind of tired, like I say. Uh, it's a workout. And I want to get the bin on the ground, but I can't do it until I clean up some of this stuff here. This is uh, lint grape seed oil. Wrong stuff, see? And then uh, Joe wants to look at some car parts. If not, I'll do an HMS run just to get rid of that pile. And then a few things here. And then a little bit of HMS here. Um, yeah, not too bad, like I say. And I'll whack out the glass on the door and I'll sell some of that stuff dirty. I get the same money, it doesn't matter if you cleaning or not, so why clean it? If I clean it, it's the same, so it's not gonna, not gonna bother. Um, so, at least the weather's good, it stood out pretty nice. Um, still a lot of stuff, at least I got a, quite a few bottles out of here, I'm happy. I'll finish the rest here off camera. Um, that's good, and I need, like I say, I need 18 to make a bin. So I'll have 9, and then I'll probably get three out of there, nine, ten, maybe twelve, I'll probably almost have twelve, so I'm getting there, okay guys, a uh, bit of a odd video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, have a great day, thanks for watching.